What content innovations are we going to see in 2018? This is Inside AB, I'm Jeremy Lawrence, and today I'm joined by Eddie Taylor. Good to be here. Uh, you've been speaking to Mark Weeks from Akamai Technologies about the subject of the kind of uh, technologies and breakthroughs we're going to see in 2018 in terms of how we consume content and on what platforms. Uh, what did he have to tell you? He basically gave us a really interesting outline of the kind of content delivery technology that we'll be looking to see in 2018. And again, it's going to be a really, really big year. Mm. He's looking at uh, the industry really moving into very, very interesting powerful areas, particularly in the areas of mobile, particularly in the areas of streaming, particularly in the areas of VR. And he kind of outlines four key things that by the end of the year will be much more commonplace in our daily sort of media consumption, if mm. you like. Look at the first one. We seem to be talking about virtual reality for ages. It's one of these things that's kind of been circulating around, oh, it's coming, it's coming. What are the best applications of it? He actually thinks that VR will be used in a retail space first, that by the end of the year, we'll be doing a lot more shopping using virtual reality. So. Mm. You know, we'll be able to put these goggles on and see what certain bits of furniture look like in our homes, maybe even artwork, even holidays. Mm. What does that hotel look like? What does the beachfront look like? What's around it? We'll be able to have those experiences much more in a virtual reality sense. And he thinks that's coming this year. Yeah, he thinks it's, well, it's already here now in certain ways, but he thinks it's going to be much more kind of a part of our daily retail habits, mm. particularly in a place like Dubai, where, you know, we spend a lot of time in malls and we spend a lot of time shopping. This is going to be part of the experience of shopping, which is interesting. And right now, it's already a key part of medical and clinical training where kind of, you know, uh, operations and surgical procedures are now being streamed live in virtual reality for audiences around the world in a training and that's the kind of test bed if you like for how that's then going to be rolled out in a more consumer space so really really interesting year for vr i think okay okay um if all this happens the connectivity is going to have to get a lot better isn't it i mean that's the that's the big thing that he said he said with all of this stuff this year this has got to be the year when mobile carriers and mobile technology really really steps up to the plate because everything is mobile people are consuming their content where they are it's no longer sitting in your front room watching a tv it's basically on tablets it's on mobiles and we have to move beyond 3g into 4g and by the end of the maybe even into 5g that basically means that the quality of your mobile phone connection is absolutely cru critical, crucial to your uh, consumption of media, the enjoyment of what you watch. You don't want to be watching a film or a TV show and the connection constantly cutting. You don't want to be watching a sport event if the connection is constantly cutting. Mm -hmm. So the ability to deliver a 5G experience is going to be critical. And we'll see that push through more through the end of the year. Again, he really thinks this is going to happen soon. Yeah, he thinks so. He thinks, he thinks things, I mean, we'll come on to it in the next slide, but big sporting events are the real kind of like drivers of this thing, okay. whereby people are demanding better, better quality services mm -hmm. and better better connectivity um, because people aren't sitting down at home watching things now it's it's not really about the size of your tv or the pixels or the curvature mm. of the screen it's how good your connection is that's what's going to get a, determine your your viewing pleasure if you like okay well let's talk about broadcasting and connectivity assuming these changes do uh do take place and we have got these facilities that's going to uh, pose a big problem for traditional broadcasters. This is the big one this year. I mean, the, the World Cup in Russia is the biggest event of the year. It's going to attract, you know, an audience of literally half the planet are going to be tuning in at some point. And it's going to pilot, they think, something called OTT streaming, over-the-top streaming. This essentially means that entities like FIFA or anyone that owns their own content are going to be able to sell it direct to the consumer. They don't need these traditional bundle packages of selling up rights to a TV channel who's then going to sell advertising against it. These guys can now sell direct to us. Yeah. I mean, this is already happening. I mean, the football team I support in the UK, I'm not going to mention them to embarrass them, uh, they sell me direct now their matches. Right. So I can actually now pay £5 or 25 dirhams and I watch every single match at home streamed on my laptop. I don't need a carrier. I don't need to be in sport. Mm. I can already do that. And that's going to come more and more. And things like the World Cup are going to push that through even more this year. Okay, interesting. Finally, finally. So <laughs> finally, my online exercise classes are going to uh, stop dropping out. <laughs> so, was that what you do with your time? Yeah, well, there more you than you need to know. But anyway, uh, let's talk about radio. How are they going to be impacted? To yeah, radio I mean, broadcasters? everyone's going to be challenged this year. It's not just traditional TV players. It's also radio as well. Uh, and um, uh, media analyst Gartner say that 75% of homes in the US by 2020 will have one of these, wow. a smart speaker. It's essentially Apple TV for audio. So you'll have it in the corner of your room. It will sync up to your playlists, to your clouds, mm. to your Spotify, to your playlists, to your podcasts. And that's how we're going to be consuming our audio entertainment. 
FM and traditional AM networks, their share of their audience is going to go down more and more. And we're already seeing it in America. It's fallen by 50% since 2003. Wow. So because of these things, and this is, this is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as the, as the year goes ahead. Wow. So it looks like there are actually some genuine innovations that are coming and coming soon. Yeah, I mean, this is all geared around the whole sort of technology space in terms of where we are. There are new frontiers being pushed and pushed and pushed, and we're living in an incredibly exciting time. You literally go from idea to reality to practical implementation within a year, it seems, right now. We are living really at the cutting edge of this stuff, and it's incredibly exciting to see. And especially when you've got a big event like the World Cup to, uh, to really push it forward. Yeah, it's, these things are the, often the catalysts of these kind of new technologies now. We'll, we'll see, we'll have the conversation next year. We'll, we'll be seeing even more technological breakthroughs in the next 12 months. Great, all right, well, thank you, Eddie Taylor. Uh, that's content innovation in 2018. You've been watching Inside AB. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we are live every morning at 10 a.m. So join us again. Thanks.